Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I know it's Labor Day weekend, but for me, it's the start of the times where I start thinking archery. Maybe I'm gonna go check out my tree stands, hang a camera or two. But every time that I do that, I'm always looking on the ground for mushrooms. That's how I stumbled upon this beautiful batch of, of papinkis last year. Here's a little bit of a tip for you on how to pick mushrooms. The key to mushroom picking is knowing what you're picking, quite obviously knowing what you're picking. Over the years, we've picked quite a few very edible, tasty mushrooms, like this one, the chicken of the woods. Very obviously orange, hangs on the side of a tree. We ran into that big cluster and we ate well for quite some time. Also, the sheep's head, known also as the hen of the woods, usually grows around the base of oak trees, rotted stumps, that kind of a deal. Again, a beautiful mushroom to cook with. We've also picked chanterelles, again, another beautiful mushroom. Black trumpets, another mushroom that we really enjoy picking. We've also it's picked belites like with you. But what we're after today, plain and simple, the papinki the honey mushroom, the probably one of the most sought after mushrooms, and take a look at this. These are starting right now. We call them buttons. And I gotta tell you, if I had a basket of these, I'd be the happiest man in the world. But what we do is we come down and cut them. Look at no bugs, no nothing. I could tell this is a honey mushroom by the dirt type thing on the top and the veil around the inside. And the veil is this little, ring right there that was attached to the mushroom but as the mushroom opened up it remains there one of the telltale signs that that is a honey mushroom this is a very sought after mushroom I'm gonna pick all of these including this one and the, the neat thing about mushroom picking is this if you don't find them today they may be there tomorrow so here we have it now my hope really is that some of these are still good but believe it or not these are papinkis these are the honey mushrooms they're much bigger obviously and what we're going to do is cut these one at a time and see if we could get anything out of them there you go not buggy now a lot of people would leave these they're past their prime i say if i go and i cut them like this they'll be good in a gravy i don't mind these at all Let's cut these and keep checking. Look at how white that stem is. Inside, beautiful. Again, no bugs yet. And they're not waterlogged. I would have liked to have been here yesterday, but guess what, I wasn't. The best time to pick a mushroom is when you find them. We're gonna process them, figure out what we're gonna, how we're gonna store them. I would like a whole basket of buttons, but when I don't find buttons, I take whatever mushrooms I can get. Been at it about an hour. Found another beautiful cluster. I'm gonna pick these, make my way back to the car, and then I'm gonna have to get to work cleaning them. But this is what you're looking for when you're picking papinkis. By far, last year was the best year I had in years for honey mushrooms or papinkis we call them. I didn't find too many sheep's head, but I'll be looking around now. And like I said, I'd start right about now going out and looking for the fall mushroom. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 